Okay, so this is the front door to his nursery and his name is Aziz. So let me just turn the light on and I really quickly just wanna like go over his name and like why we chose it. So Aziz does mean strong and powerful and beloved. And I like that it's like similar-ish to my boyfriend's name. This is an Arabic name and they both start with A. They're both short, different and unique. I really wanted like, you know, a very different name. So Aziz, I think it's so cute. His full name is Aziz Raul Mendoza. I think it is super cute. So that is what I named him. But let's continue with the tour now. So this is the door that I just walked through. So on the back of the door, we just have these hooks. They just have little dinosaurs on them. This hook is from Amazon. I will have everything in the entire nursery linked below if you guys are interested. All the furniture is from Pottery Barn and then a lot of the accessories are from Amazon, but I'll have everything linked below. Now going to the left onto this wall. So this is where his crib is. So up here, we just have these three picture frames. These picture frames are from Michael's and then um, the printouts were actually from Etsy. They were just like a PDF and I just like went to the store and printed them and put them inside the frames. They're super cute. It is um, dinosaur in space theme for the nursery, if you couldn't tell. We originally wanted to do safari theme, but I feel like this actually was a lot like more cuter and more fun and colorful. So it didn't have to just all be like neutrals because I feel like my house is super plain. So I wanted it to be like really fun and playful in here for him. This is the crib. I really like this crib because it does also turn into a toddler bed. I will put a picture on the screen and show you guys how this one does transform from a crib to a toddler bed. So I think that's super cool. And then the mattress can also be flipped. So this is the infant side. And then you can flip the mattress and the other side is for toddlers. So you don't have to buy a whole new bed. And then we just have these Star Wars bed sheets. They are really cute. And then we just have his little baby Yoda. And that's what they look like. And it matches the vibe because, you know, it's space themed with Star Wars. Now moving on from that wall, coming over here, we do have this carpet right here in the middle. This carpet's also from Pottery Barn. And I feel like it's so cute because it has like, you know, the whole little galaxy in space and it matches, you know, the dinosaurs that are in space and his little bed sheets. And I like that it's a dark gray and it matches everything. This carpet is very, very cute. And I feel like it's gonna be really fun for him. So I like this changing table because the top can come off and it can be made just into a regular dresser when he gets a little bit older and he doesn't need the changing table anymore. He can just use it as a regular dresser. So on top of the dresser, I just have this changing pad. It also has like these little hooks on the bottom or like this little seat belt thing if you wanna buckle the baby in while you're changing him. And then back here, I did put this baby proofing thing on the dresser because I don't know if you guys have ever seen those videos of like dressers falling forward on babies. So I just wanted to prevent that. I did get a few baby proofing things throughout the house and in the nursery. Um, I got them all from Amazon, so I will link them below and show them to you guys. And then I also got the little hatch sound machine. Everyone was saying that this was like a must have. My sister got it for me. Then down here, I like that this dresser also has like this space for these storage bins. So I did get these bins from Target and I already have diapers in them because at my mommy class, they give us free diapers after every single class. So that's super clutch. And then here I just have more diapers and then I just have the um, diaper pail like refill bags. So that's pretty much it for that. And then moving over here on the dresser, I did change the doorknobs. So this dresser originally came with like some really ugly brown, bronze doorknobs. And I got these cute ones off of Amazon and they're just like little monster trucks. They are super freaking cute. And I feel like it just makes it look a lot nicer than those brown ones. And then in the drawers right now, I just have these little bins. These are also from Target. So right now I just have like his little socks in here his little mittens, hats, um, his like chipons and like the little holders. And then I don't really know what I'm going to put in there yet. Um, I feel like I just have things like however right now because I don't have a lot of stuff. But like I said, once the baby shower happens, I'll actually like organize everything more because I'll have more things. And then it has like the little sticker here, like make sure the dresser doesn't fall on the baby. That's why I got the little um, baby proofing thing. And then these two drawers are just empty right now because... I don't have that many things, but that's just basically what it looks like. And then to the left over here, I have this diaper pail. This is the Genie diaper pail. I actually got this one for free from my mommy class. A mom donated it. 
um so i just brought it home and washed it so i was like super grateful for that this is what it looks like when you open it and then when it closes you can see like the little things are closing so you don't have to smell the diaper so i'll keep you guys updated on how good it works but i've watched videos on it and i've heard like good things about it so that's pretty much it for this wall let me just back up just the diaper pail the dresser the little accent wall his name the pictures and the grip that's like the little overview so let's move on this is what the wall looks like when i back up nothing crazy on this wall literally just a balcony with curtains over it and then going over here to this wall this wall is literally my favorite part of the entire nursery because it's like one of the first parts that we had done so over here we just have this bookshelf and then above it it says once upon a time in these wooden letters they are from amazon they came in black but we spray painted them white and then we have these three acrylic floating shelves they're really really cute i like it that because it looks like the books are really just floating there i'll show you guys what they look like from the side but yeah all his little books i think this area is so cute you guys ah, i love it and then over here we have this like measuring dinosaur ruler it just matches the theme and i feel like when he gets older he's gonna have a lot of fun you know like measuring how high he is and watching him grow so i think this is super cute and then i am leaving this area open just for like toys and stuff after the baby shower to see what we get some people were telling me to put a rocking chair but i think i'm just gonna leave it open and you know have a little space for his toys now coming over here we have the closet so it is just these glass doors and then once you open the closet it is a sensor light so it just turns on down here i have this little storage cubby that's also from pottery barn and then these three little dinosaur bins are from amazon so right here i just have his little shoes that my sister got us for christmas she got matching ones with me and my boyfriend so all three of us can match and then this one's just empty the bins don't really have anything in it right now because i'm waiting to get stuff and here i just have like um some swaddles and like hats and like random stuff that i already started cleaning and then this is his little piggy bank so when he does like his little chores or if i find change around the house i can just put money in there for him i remember having one when i was little and i loved it it's also from amazon and it's shatterproof because it's like this plastic so you don't have to worry about it breaking just his little baby hangers i'm pretty sure once we get more clothes i'm gonna need more hangers and yeah that's pretty much it in here there is some stuff for the baby shower because it's like a safari themed so i just stored it in there for now and then right here i just have these two little snow globes my sister got this one for us for christmas and then my tia martha got us this one they are really cute and then i just have his little clothes hanging up here that we've been gifted so far and then these two um baskets are from target that one's empty and then this one just has blankets in it and like extra bed sheets because i have the um star wars bed sheets but i also got some dinosaur and like other ones as well so they're just in there and yeah i'm trying to keep some open space because i feel like we might get a lot of diapers and i might just want to throw them up there so i don't know if i should get like a bunch of bins or just leave open space so i'm just leaving it for now now let me show you guys the other side of the closet So on to the other side, it's literally the same thing, just more clothes. Right here, I do have his dirty clothes hamper. This is from Amazon. I like that it's small and it just fits in this space nicely. Um, and then I have this little thing that my aunt got me for the baby to like chillax in. And look at his cute little outfits, you guys. I'm so excited to like dress him up and like see him in his little outfits. And then lastly, I just have this other bin. It just has like a bunch of miscellaneous stuff in there. I got these little like Finding Nemo things because I don't know if you guys ever seen those TikToks where moms be doing like an extra ass bath or like a little shower for or a tub for the babies and they like make it with paint and lights and all that stuff. So I was like, I definitely want to do that. But that's pretty much it for the closet. Oh, and one other thing that I forgot to show you guys was these outlet covers. So I also got these from Amazon. They're just outlet covers um so that the baby doesn't like stick things in the outlet they come off really easily so i'll have those linked below too but i think that's pretty much it for everything you guys okay here's the last little overview of the room let me know down below what was your favorite part of the room let me know down below what you guys think of his name aziz and i'm gonna have everything linked 
but that's pretty much it i hope you guys liked this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel thank you